Hey guys, what's up? I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist and today in this video we are looking at how to break down a color grade which is something that I showed on my Instagram and this is something that I figured out manually so let's get into the breakdown. Personally, I find this very useful to see the process of how other people grade their video even though it's very quick but it's pretty fun to watch. So I have placed a template of this in the project file in the description so you can go and download it and check that out. And when you open it up, it will probably look something like this. So the clips are not there, of course, but the important thing is that the transitions are there and the clip, the structure is over there. Then you can do, you have everything you need to do the breakdown. So I'm going to show you how I usually do it. Usually I would also import something like this inside. And then here's my clip for today. This is a stock clip from Blackmagic. And this is a long ass clip. So I just want to take a bit from the front, but feel free to improvise. And this is my cut over here. So I want it to stop at a keyframe. And let me bring it up to her. Let's see where is the cut. So the cut is here and it's a bit shorter. Okay, let's bring it shorter back in. Okay. Okay, so here's going to be my cut. And then I'm going to start breaking down and then it will go continue to this. Okay. So a few key things to note before you make a cut over here, before I press my blade tool and make a cut here, you have to check if your clip has any tracking. So in this case, for this example, I made a tracking over here at the focus node. So you see there's a tracking and she's being tracked. Her face is being tracked by that node. So in this case, it's pretty special. So what you have to do is go to the point where you're supposed to cut. Make sure you're on the right clip and then go into the tracking and then go into frame and create a new point. See when I click point, then a point comes up over here. If you don't do this, the tracking will run off when you make the cut over here. So since I have my point already, I can make a cut here. Okay, that looks good. And then I'll take the back, I'll take both clips, place it behind. Okay, then I'll shorten the back clip a bit because we don't need that much. Okay, and then I'll duplicate this clip by using the option or alt key and I'll duplicate it out. And this one, we are going to go into our speed change and then freeze it. So now it stays put. Yes. All right. So with that, the first clip is going to be this. And then the second clip, our freeze frame is going to continue up, up, upwards. So all these are freeze frames and then only start playing back from the back. So let's go into a freeze frame and drag it. Just follow the one below and you're good to go. This one, you can continue to drag. And then once you've done the second one, you can drag the solid up. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting used to my Mac. So I press the option and then drag the solid up or alt key if you're on Windows. And then oh, the transition also, you just drag it up. And then you highlight both and option or alt and duplicate it. Yes. So duplicate it. And this is going to be a bit shorter. Yeah, so you just follow one to one. And then let me increase the space. Okay. And then it's all the same. So moving up, you can just drag it up, drag it up. So I'd like to do this around, I think, seven times over here. Yeah, I feel that that's just a nice number of breakdowns. And then I copy this, remove the effect, paste it back in. And then we'll paste our playback over here. Then depending on how long you want, that's up to you. But I'll keep it short over here. So the whole thing is around 6 seconds. And once I'm done with that, I bring it down first. Okay, and let's delete our empty tracks just to be neat and tidy. Okay, so once I have done all that, let's go and see what happens. Stop. And then the lines in, 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 and then play back. So that's roughly what we want. So it stop here. 
and then this is going to turn into raw and we hold a bit longer and then it's going to start grading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 yes, so that's roughly it and then since now we have to start removing the effects so the first clip is the playback the second clip is the freeze frame the third clip is going to be our raw so you can see that there's more than seven notes over here so but there's only seven layers of breakdown so what that means is that some of the layers we actually turn on or turn off two notes or more so it doesn't have to be one to one so what i usually do is just turn off the ones that look the most has the most impact so that you see a clearer breakdown so yeah it's not necessarily each note because some of the notes are very minimal something like the detail note like you can't see much of anything if i just swipe the detail so usually i turn that on with something else maybe a curve so the third note is gonna be our raw so for the raw i'll turn everything off i'm pressing option d and everything turns off okay so the next note let's turn everything off too and then i'll go to my cst let's turn on the cst okay and then the next one we do cst and maybe primaries and highlights okay and then after that actually we can just uh, copy from here can we do that yep we can and maybe saturation yes and then maybe let's do let's do the look and the re tones and then let's do a vignette okay and skin yeah skin is very minimal and focus is on her face so vignette and focus okay that's good and then we're coming to an end where's the end okay this the this the one that is got to be full and this one is got to be full too so we have two we have how many okay i think we can ink check the curves here too so this one to this one yes and then we'll turn off the codec halation and grain and then for this one it's going to be the full look and this one this one okay so the main changes is from here to to here yes this one two three four five six seven and then the ending this is going to be a full look and then a pause and then a playback okay so if you're not sure you can just like full look playback full look pause and playback okay so let's see yes so that's how i usually break down my grades Alright, so that's it for this one. If you learned something new, feel free to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.